I this in this stage or in this session we're going to create a site a web page layout using tables and we're going to do this in Dreamweaver first thing is to open up Dreamweaver now I've already created in a previous lesson I showed you how to create the container that contains everything to do with the site we created a new site you can see it here world of music the site is ready the images folder is ready what we now want to do is create the first page layout and this page we're going to use to build the template for the site which is the same as saying a house style for the site first thing we need to do is to create open up a new HTML document the site is in hypertext markup language and HTML is one you get this area here we're not going to give this a title document type ensure that it is HTML5 um, there should be nothing in the attached CSS box and then click create so that what you have now is the first blank HTML uh, page you, you're going to use to create your page layout now you need to try and ensure you're in design design mode for now um, you could Put it in beginners but you've got all these areas showing up you've got a split screen you can either have it split or you can um, have purely code or you can split it if you don't like seeing the code just move this down until it gets to the bottom or you can move it up I like to see a bit of code so it helps me with the page you for layout you cannot be in live now remember when you're in live you can only do formatting if you're setting up the structure of the web page, then it has to be done in design. You can't do layout issues in, in live. So make sure it's on design and the code, if you want a full code page, make sure it's there. So we've got basic, we're basically ready. Also, try and make sure your properties inspector is showing down here. Now, if it's not showing, you can get it from making sure that you click here windows and properties it should appear windows properties it disappears so if you want to add any window that you need go to windows and select the properties window or whichever window it is now in a properties window you have two views you have the html and you have the css html deals with the layout css deals with the formatting the look and the feel okay in here you can see that we haven't given the document a name and it's it shows that here for now we're going to leave that like that and we haven't we're not ready to format anything on a page just yet the next stage is to click in in your design view up here in the white area and go to insert what we're inserting is a table now we need to set the number of rows and columns and what I find works for a simple web page layout uh, three by three works so you need to go into the rows and set three and in the columns and set three the table width now this is the, how wide the website page is now that for this particular assignment we've been given a particular width and we're going to use that width that width we're going to use is a hundred pixels this one is in pixels so ensure this is on pixels and not percentage and put in the value a thousand pixels not hundred a thousand the border is one and we're going to leave it as one so that we can see the table structure later on at the end we're going to remove that so that it's not visible the border is not visible but for now leave it as one and then all you need to do is to click OK so there you have your basic table um, your basic page layout using a table now it doesn't look anything like a web page layer. I'm sure you're thinking, mm -hmm. but well, this is where you now get to work in modifying it. And what these black dots around here mean is that you can stretch it either vertically or horizontally. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch it down to make it wider first. There. We don't want to make we don't sorry make it taller. We don't want to make it wider because we've been given a specified width which you can see in a property inspector here is a thousand so you do not want to stretch it this way horizontally but you can stretch it vertically so I'm going to stretch it a bit more close down this window a bit and make sure right so now it still doesn't look anything like a web page 
I'm going to make we a web page usually has a header, which is the area at the top, a footer, which is the area at the bottom, and somewhere either on the side or along the top for a navigation bar. So let's deal with creating the header, which should involve these three cells here. So the beauty of uh, using a table is that you can merge and unmerge. Now, to merge the cells, you need to highlight them. So I'm going to highlight all three. You can see they're highlighted because they've got the dark um, rim around them now. And what the one method of merging, once they're highlighted like that, go into Modify, go to Table, and click Merge Cells. There's also the shortcut there, but I'm, I'm okay with doing it the long way. So that's one way to merge cells. So that's merge the top three to create the header. And you might want to make... Um, click in that area. Uh, we may have to split it because we have a logo as well. So let's split this into two. It's good practice. Let's split this into three cells again. So if you go into, click in the cell, go to modify, table, split this into three cells. So we want three columns. Yeah, that's right. Columns, selected, and three. Yeah, click OK. So we've gone back to three. Now the reason I've gone back to three is because we have a logo and then we have a banner. So we leave this area for the logo and we know that the logo is 150 by 150. So click in that cell where the logo is going to go. Click at the bottom. Now this area shows you the width and the height of the current area. So this area here, the width and the height is there. So what we need to do is click width of 150 and we want the height of this same cell, make sure you're clicked in it, to be 150. So that's where the logo is going to go. And press enter. So that area is now ready for the logo. And we know that the banner is going to be in this area. So what we want to do is highlight the banner, highlight the two cells, and go to modify, table, and merge cells. So we have an area for the logo and an area for the banner. We now need want to make this slightly smaller. So we move down, find the bottom of it, and try and make it smaller for the footer. So we're going to move this up. That looks good. And try and drag this down. Right, so we have an area here that's potentially the footer. So again, we need to merge these three cells. So you highlight them, go across, drag across the three. Now, another way to merge cells is by using this little box here at the bottom of the property inspector. Now, that will merge those three cells. So, another new way is just highlight the cells and click there. So, as you can see, those three cells. So, we've got our footer. So, we've got our logo, banner, header area, footer area. Now, we all only need a navigation bar. So, this is a nice navigation area. We can leave that. It's fine as it is. This area is the main content area. So we want to make this into one. So again, you highlight the two cells. And again, you can come down to here and you can merge. Click this one and it merges. So that basically is a general layout for our web page. Now we're going to improve it, but that's all you need for a basic web page layout to use for the template that we will design in the next lesson. So please go away and try this. Any issues, come back to me. But hope, you, hope, it, hope it's clear. Thank you. Mm -hmm.